let's take a look at uh, an example of the kind of problem that you're going to need to be able to solve. Five members of a basketball team are posing for a photo. What is the probability that Rory is on the far left or that Charlie is on the far right? So immediately we say that we see that this is a, an or kind of question, so we're interested in the union of our two sets. So we need to figure out whether these two events are mutually exclusive. So let's first define what the two events are that we're interested in. We will um, let the event R be the event that Rory is on the left. And we'll let event C be the event uh, Charlie is on the right. Are these two events mutually exclusive? Well, it is possible for Rory to be on the left and for Charlie to be on the right. So these events are not mutually exclusive. So the probability that we're interested in is we want the pro sorry, we want the probability, so capital P of R or C, or R union C. We know that we're going to use this formula. Probability of R plus probability C minus the intersection of those two. So probability of R and C. Now we're going to use our standard formula for um, probability here. We are going to use the number of elements divided by, in uh, each set, divided by the number of elements in our, number of outcomes in our sample space. So NC divided by NS minus um, the number of events in R and C divided by NS. So let's think about what each of these um, number of elements is going to be. We'll start with the number of things in our sample space. If we have five people and we want to arrange them in a row to take a photo, how many ways can we do that? Well, we have to think back to unit one. We know that the number of arrangements of five things is going to be five factorial or 120. What about the number of events where, or the number of arrangements where Rory is on the left? Well, to approach this problem, we can use the, the box method that we used back in Unit 1. We can have our five spaces here, each one representing a position in our lineup for the photo. And we're going to start over here on the far left because we want to put Rory in that position right there. So there's only one choice for that box right there, and that's going to be Rory. Now, once we've placed Rory there, how many choices do we have for the remaining boxes? Well, we have four more people to place, so there's four choices here. Three, two, one. And then we multiply all of this up, we have a grand total of 24 possible arrangements. And we can follow a similar sort of logic for the number of arrangements where Charlie is on the far right. If we place Charlie here, that's our one person. And then we have four choices for here. Three, two, one. A grand total of 24 ways that we can have Charlie located in the right-hand position. What about Rory on the left and Charlie on the right? Well, again, let's have our five positions here. If we put Rory here, there's one choice. If we put Charlie over here, we have one choice for that. How many choices do we have left for these uh, positions in the middle? Well, three choices here, two choices, one here, and one choice here. So a grand total of six possibilities. So we can put all of these things together now to calculate our probability. So our probability of R union C is going to be, we've got 
24 divided by 120 for the probability that Rory is on the left, plus 24 divided by 120 for the probability that Charlie is on the right, and we minus 6 over 120 for taking off those cases where um, Rory is on the left and Charlie is on the right, so we don't count them twice in our counting. We do this uh, addition here and we get, let's see, 48 minus 6 is going to be 42 over 120. We can put this in lowest terms, 7 out of 20. Or, if we want to express this as a percent, this is about 35 percent.